Hello everyone, today is the part 2 of back propagation neural network. In the previous session, we have done a forward propagation. We have a target as 0.99 but we got our actual output as 0.3716. So, we have an error of 0.1911. And in today part 2, we need our focus is to make this error value 0 and make this actual output is equal to your 0.99 that is your target output. So, how we can do this? Okay. So, concentrate now here we have generated an error here we have generated an error okay and what thing we can do what thing or what changing we can do okay this is the actual output this is the target that we cannot change these are the inputs that also we cannot change so only thing we can change is these weight values w1 w2 up to w6 these weight values we can change to which helps us to get make this actual output our target output and making the error value as zero okay so now see what we can do error we have to make this error zero and with respect to what and what next what we have to do we have to update these weight values going through a back propagation going through a back propagation means updating w5 w6 then updating w1 w2 w3 and w4 right so what we have to do we have to make considering this error we have to change this w5 so what we have to do we have to do a partial derivative of considering this error with respect to w5 to make this to make the you know change this w5 value we have to make a partial derivative of error with respect to w5 right and what we cannot do this you know a partial derivative of error with respect to w5 we cannot directly directly calculate this for that we need to expand this term with the help of chain rule and how we are gonna do this how we are gonna apply this chain rule i'm gonna i'm going to tell you a very you know easy trick okay see concentrate focus on the white space that this is your error and we have to reach till w5 this is our destination right so what are the things coming in between our you know uh, this uh, source and destination between our error and w5 this is the only node coming between our error and w5 right so and this node o1 has a input has a output has a input has a output so just sequence in the sequence of back propagation we have an error we have an output of o1 we have an input of o1 finally we are reaching to w5 so in this way in this sequence we will apply the chain rule here is our error I have written this and in the denominator w5 I have given some space and in the denominator I have written w5 now what we have to do the sequence is error then output of one so i have divided the output of one but and as the rule of ones if we divide something you have to multiply so multiply in this okay next is coming input of one this is the sequence so dividing input of one multiplying this finally i'm getting getting reaching to w5 so divided w5 if we cancel this out you will get you know error with respect to w5 okay this is the trick of expansion okay now we have to just calculate these three terms values okay so what is error partial derivative of error with respect to out of o1 so you know e is equal to half of target minus output here it is o1 output is o1 square this is the formula so we need to do a partial derivative of this with respect to out okay we need to do this partial derivative with respect to out of one so when when we go for a partial derivative of this you know the partial derivative of nx to the power nx to the power n minus 1 okay so 2 will come over here 2 minus 1 so it will be this 2 will be cancelled out simply it will be target minus output and again the inside value this will be 0 and this with respect to o1 this will give you minus 1 so if we if i do a minus one over here like this will go if i get a minus over here and if i multiply this minus inside the bracket i will get output minus target so here i am getting output minus target this will be my fi uh, final after the derivative okay next let's see over here next term is derivative of output with respect to input derivative of output with respect to input so what is out of o1 what will be out of o1 out of o1 will be nothing but the activation function we have used what is the activation function i have used i have used the activation function as 
1 by sorry it's not working okay so i have used the activation function as 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x this is the act, sig, activation function that is sigmoid i have used right so we, when we will do the partial derivative of this kind of function you will get the derivative answer as out 1 minus out this kind of here this is not edge this is of input input of what input of o1 input of because o1 output this input of o1 right so you will get output of o1 in the bracket 1 minus output this kind of this kind of term function partial derivative will be this this type okay now last thing is input of o1 partial derivative with respect to w5 so what is input of o1 what is input of o1 in the last you know part one already i have told you input of o1 will be output of h1 and h2 multiplied with its respective weight so output of h1 into w5 output of h2 into w6 plus its bias okay plus its bias which is your bias value plus its bias that's your bias 2 right it's your bias 2 okay so what you will when you will calculate all these value when you will put and calculate all this value okay you will get your error with respect to w5 as 0.0596 0.0596 so what is your target okay i'm telling the value once again what is your target that's 0.99 what is output of o1 actual output that is 0.3716 so 0.3716 these two values this is also 0.3716 output or actual output and finally okay this term this term when you will get, get the partial derivative of input with respect to w5 what you will get these terms will be cancelled out as zero because no w5 is present only this will remain only this will remain okay and what you will get partial derivative of w5 you will just get out of h1 just remaining will be out of h1 so out of h1 what is out of h1 what is out of h1 in the previous session already i have calculated out of h1 that is your 0 0.4133 so all these things you multiply you will get 0 0.0596 okay in this way you calculate this now what is w5 new w5 new will be w5 volt minus in the bracket learning rate this is nothing but this n the small n is your learning rate which value is 0 0.4 my learning rate multiplied by your partial derivative of error with respect to w5 just put the old value of w5 whatever learning rate is 0 0.4 and this value is just now we have calculated 0 0.059 so you will get 0 0.123 as the answer okay one thing i am telling what is this learning rate why we need to multiply this learning rate this small value why we need to multiply this i will tell you in the you know after discussing the total thing at the end of the session i will tell you okay now in the similar way you have to calculate the value of w6 okay you can do it of your own now let's move to this part w1 w2 w3 w4 how to calculate w1 so in the same way error we have to consider error and we with respect to w1 that is we have to change this w1 value okay so partial derivative of error with respect to w1 okay and we have to apply the chain rule okay what chain rule just check the path here it is error here it is w1 what are coming in the path the node o1 and h1 and o1 has its output input h1 has its input and output so the path is error output of o1 input of o1 output of h2 input of h2 finally w1 so i am writing de giving a space writing w1 and in in the between the space output of o1 dividing multiplying input of o1 dividing multiplying next is what this node okay output of h1 dividing multiplying input of h1 dividing multiplying finally w1 okay so we have to calculate the value of these you know these terms so this value already calculated over here this value already calculated over here only cons we have to think of calculating these three values what will be these three values okay so that i have calculated over here in for this is input of o1 so what is input of o1 input of o1 what is output of h1 multiply weight value output of h2 multiply weight value out of h1 into w5 out of h2 into w6 plus its bias okay so when you will do the partial derivative of input of o1 with respect to 
you know output of h1 yes output of h1 what you will get all these things will be cancelled out because output of h1 term will be not there all these things will be constant and cancelled out only this will remain so with respect to out of h1 this will give you w5 w5 is your 0.10 okay next come to this th thing okay output of h1 with respect to input of h1 so what is output output of h1 nothing but the application of activation function 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus x here it is input of h1 so this value is equal to 0.4133 okay which already i have calculated in the previous session and partial derivative of output of h1 with respect to input of h1 output of h1 with respect to input of h1 when you will do the partial derivative of this this type of term with respect to input you will get uh, this kind of you know derivative answer that is output of h1 and multiplied by 1 minus output of h1 so what is the value of output of h1 it is 0.4133 so when we will do solve this you will get 0.2424 okay now all these values okay all these four values we have calculated only the last value remaining input of h1 with respect to w1 so in what is input of h1 what will be input of h1 Input of H1 will be nothing but X1, X2, X1, S2 multiplied with its respective weight values. So, input of H1 is X1 multiplied with its weight value W2, X2 multiplied with its weight values plus your bias. Plus your bias. Okay. Your bias will be, okay, your bias. Okay. So, now this bias will be your bias 1. Okay. Bias. So, now input of h1 what i have to do partial derivative with w1 when i will do this input of h1 partial derivative with your w1 what i will get these terms will be cancelled out as constant because there is no w1 term present over here only this will be calculated and with respect to w1 you will just get x1 so x1 is equal to your 0 0.10 so you're getting 0 0.10 so all these terms are calculated now just multiply it now just multiply it you will get derivative of partial derivative of error with respect to w1 so now we have to calculate the w1 new so w1 new will be w1 old minus your learning rate into partial derivative of error with respect to w1 when you put all this value you will get your new w1 as 0.10014 so this will be your new w1 so as the you know neural network increases the layer and the, the hidden layer increases these you know chain will rule or will also be increased it will become very very lengthy right but this is the process this is the process of calculating the you know updated weight and this is the process or you can tell the trick of uh, you know applying the chain rule so i hope you understand the whole process and also i have told you that i will tell you about you know why we are applying the learning rate i told you so i'll be telling you this with the help of graph okay suppose this is your error this is your w x-axis is your weight value this is your error right now and this is a graph i'm doing okay right now consider your error is over here your error is over here okay but your error value is five i want my error value to become come over here so that it will be zero how I will do it? Suppose I will multiply 0.4 over here. What it will give me? It will give me something like 2. 5 into 0.4, 2. So our error value is right now over here. Again in 2, I will multiply 0.4. What it will give me? It will give me 0 0.8. 0 0.8 somewhere over here. This will give me 0 0.8, which will be somewhere over here. Again, I will multiply 0 0.8 with 0 0.4, which also minimize value. Finally, I will get my error value over here that is your the value of the error will be zero so this learning rate this small value helps us very much in you know reducing our error value so always this is the importance of multiplying the learning rate and always try to keep the value of learning rate small okay between zero to one so i hope this is the whole session of you know updating the weight values and about learning rate i hope you like this session and if you like it then subscribe to the channel and share the video as much as possible thanks for watching thank you